Hello, welcome to my YouTube video where I'm going to do my best to explain to you how I've made a very inexpensive spindle tack for my Mach 3 based homebrew CNC conversions. So, to cut to the chase, I am uh, based this off of an OH137 Hall Effect sensor. I obviously am using Mach 3. have a very quick temporary uh, setup here in my breadboard. I'm going to be using my trusty old Milwaukee cordless drill to uh, trigger it. And I hopefully you can see this. I have a uh, magnet, a very small magnet, just taped to a uh, machine screw with some electrical tape. It's actually a uh, rare earth magnet purchased from Radio Shack. And as far as my CNC driver, I'm using a TB6560 based uh, three axis unit that I purchased off eBay. So, pretty basic stuff, straightforward. So, let me just give you a really quick demo of how this works. And basically, all I'm doing is using the drill as a spindle to trigger the sensor. So let me place the iPhone down so you can get a good shot at the mock screen and I will show you how this works. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty simple. So let me show you how I did it. Really quick wiring diagram right here. Please forgive my shoddy artwork, but gets the job done. So you have your plus 5 volts going into pin 1. Pin number 2 of the Hall Effect sensor goes to ground. And then pin number 3 is your voltage out, your signal out. Pin number one and three are, uh, I guess I'll say, bridged together with a 680K ohm uh, pull-up resistor. And then you can see the, the V-out connection, pin number three, goes to input number one on your CNC controller. And this is an active low connection. So I'll do my best to show you back back side of the... TB6560, that's your ground, that's your positive 5 volts, and this is input number 1. So, ground, positive 5 volts, input number 1. And just for emphasis, you can see how I have this temporarily connected in my breadboard. So something else that's probably really important is your ports and pins, input signals, and I will show you how I have this configured. So spindle control is it's labeled index using port number one which is my LPT port number one off of my uh, I can't remember the name of the interface board uh, come to me in a second it's my adapter to allow me to uh, use my USB port to uh, create basically two LPT ports so I'm sorry I, I just can't remember the name of it at the second but uh, the TB6560 input number 1 is pin number 10 and I have that set to active low. So pretty simple stuff, pretty straightforward.
smooth stepper. <laughs> it's called a smooth stepper. I'm using a smooth stepper to uh, use my USB to create two LPT ports. I knew it would come to me in a second. So once again, I know the max RPM on my little cordless drill is about 1500 RPM and that's about what we get. If I had a brand new battery, I'd probably get slightly greater than 1500 RPM. So there you go. I hope this is helpful. Have a good day.